Hi everyone, welcome to my first ever sticker haul on this channel, which is really exciting because I've got some really, really great things to show you. Everything is from either Planner Face or Paper Chic Plans. They are both UK sticker shops and they have been two of my favourite shops um, since I started planning. So I'm really excited to show you what I got and get straight into the haul video. So I'm going to start off with planner face and I'm going to begin with the little extras that I've got. So firstly, two um, freebies. These were a few different orders, hence why I've got two. And they include the really pretty doodle icons that Anna has in her shop, which I absolutely love. I'm yet to actually buy some sheets of these, but it's really good, obviously, just to have a little sample. So I love those. I've also got a freebie from um, like the PR team. So I used Cat's Code, which is Cat 10. Uh, so I absolutely love Cat's freebie. Um, it's got tasks, shopping, wax melt stickers. The wax melt sticker I'm going to use 100% because I absolutely love wax melts just like Cat does. Um, it's got this really gorgeous quote box. And then also some more doodles, which have this really pretty pastel yellow colour. So I absolutely love those freebies. I also got a journaling card which says eat, sleep, craft, repeat. I absolutely love this. It's the blue one. I believe there's a pink one as well. And I really, really like this. I'll probably pop it up in my um, office somewhere. And then just a little um, clipboard checklist um, icon on the back, which is so cute. So I really, really like that. And then another thing that I got which obviously I purchased it was just some functional icons these are the colorful um, camera ones I just thought I would get them because I do take a lot of photos for my Instagram accounts and obviously videos for YouTube as well so I thought these would come in very handy and I almost forgot about these square boxes that I also picked up. Um, so these came with my most recent order. These are new to the shop. There's a few different colour palettes, but I went for the autumn colours. I absolutely love how these look. So square boxes, I believe, have become quite popular to the planning community. And I've seen quite a lot of people use them in their spreads. So instead of um, adding them to kits, Anna has offered some square box sheets um, so that she didn't have to swap out any of her current um, stickers which I really liked so yeah I just thought I'd pick these up and I'm very excited to start using them in my planner now on to the weekly kits and I'm going to start off with a couple of kits that I got quite a while back um, and one of them is the just a peach kit this is still available in Anna's shop and it is absolutely amazing. I really love the artwork in this kit. So obviously there's lots of um, greens, oranges, peachy pinks. There's this gorgeous peach uh, pattern, the girl holding the flowers, the makeup flat lay. I just really, really like this collection. We've got some to do, to buy, to go and clean stickers, which I always find really useful in my spreads. We've then got date covers, appointment labels, weekend banner, cancel reschedules, um, weekly checklists. We've got this gorgeous deco, which is really, really usable, especially if you're someone that likes to put the deco at the top of your spreads. Then we've got half and quarter boxes. Again, gorgeous patterns. We've got some flags, some checklists. We've got little things, some extra quarter boxes and glitter headers the ombre heart checklists and really pretty icons. The bottom washi, which is gorgeous. I just love this print, it's so pretty. And then washi strips. We've got some extra full boxes, so you can obviously pick which fashion girl looks most like you. And then I also got the glitter add-on, of course, as always, which has the glitter headers, half boxes, and then quarter boxes and appointment labels. So, really, really gorgeous kit, and Anna's format and the contents of the kit is just perfect for my planning style. So, I absolutely love her shop. I'm sure everyone that watches this has probably heard of Planner Fairs already. If you haven't, I will leave a link to her shop down below. Another kit that I got um, a little while back is the Amber kit, again, which is still available in the shop. This is such a cosy autumnal kit. It's been out for a while, but I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a perfect kit to use in September as we're getting closer to the autumn season. So we've got coffee, we've got the girl with her nails done, makeup brushes, a deco, a book, perfume bottles. It's just so, so pretty. And the colours are really, really pretty as well. These muted autumn tones. I will flick through this a little bit quicker, obviously, because I have just explained exactly um, what the format of the kit is. But yeah, 
I just absolutely love this. I'm so excited to use it in September. Some more four boxes. And again, the glitter add-on. I'm really happy with that. So with the newer kit, I actually opted for the premium matte, which is something I've never done before. I've always been just a normal matte kind of girl, um, but I recently purchased some glossy stickers because I absolutely love the pigment of them. And I asked Anna whether she would ever be um, offering glossy stickers. And she mentioned how her premium matte paper, um, the colors are a lot more vibrant and it's pretty much very similar to glossy paper. Um, just obviously a matte version and oh my god she is so right and I'm so so happy that I decided to opt for the premium matte I definitely will be for every other sticker purchase that I make if I have a choice um because the colors are just amazing the paper feels so nice and yeah it's just really good quality so again with this kit we've got two extra full boxes which are really pretty um, this is the leaves kit. Obviously, it is very autumnal. So I probably will be using this like September, October time. The colours are just gorgeous. I really, really love this one. The pumpkin, coffee and the candle. I absolutely love that. Autumn is 100% my favourite season. My birthday is at the end of September. I really look forward to like Halloween and Christmas. So this section of the year is always my favourite and I'm going all out this year as well. Box is really lovely, really colourful and obviously just very cosy looking. Oh my God, that decor, all the pumpkins. I just love this kit so much. I think this might be my favourite autumn kit so far. I just really, really love it. And also to mention in the new format that the icons have changed. So if I just get um, that other kit I had just a second ago, you'll see that this is what the icons used to look like, which were really, really nice. Um, and I did love them ones, but I have to admit that these are just so much better. They are gorgeous. They're Anna's um, doodle style icons. And I just think they're really useful, but also really pretty as well. Oh, that washi, so pretty. So yeah, that is the leaves kit. A couple of changes and oh my God, obsessed. Can't wait to use this one. And next I've got the gratitude kit. So this is a Thanksgiving kit. So I'm in the UK. Obviously Thanksgiving is something celebrated in America and that makes me so sad because I would just love to celebrate it. I just love the idea of it and it just looks really, really nice. Um, and yeah, so I think this year I'm gonna have a few friends around. We're gonna have a dinner, like a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, might make a pie, <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, play some games, which I mean, look at this little scrabble section, so cute. Um, and yeah, so that's something we're going to do this year. So I thought I would pick up this Thanksgiving kit because it will actually come into play. So the colours are gorgeous. I haven't seen this artwork anywhere else yet. Obviously, it might be something uh, that other shops have, but I just thought this was so unique. The kind of like burnt orange with the um, blue and green colours are just really, really pretty. Again, I got it in the premium matte option. Oh, look at those patterns and the little green pumpkin. So cute. And yeah, I'm just really excited to use this kit. Like I said, obviously, it's not something we celebrate here. But I think especially after the rubbish year we've had, uh, celebrate anything that I possibly can, including Thanksgiving, and just really try and make the most of the end of this very rubbish year. So that is my little uh, thought process behind that. But yeah, that is the gratitude kit. There was also another Thanksgiving themed one, but I did prefer this one. Um, yeah, I just think it's gorgeous. And on to my last planner face purchase which is the October monthly kit, which again, gorgeous, gorgeous colours and artwork. Perfect kit for autumn. We've got obviously the October banner, the date, these really pretty artwork boxes, some flags, ombre checklists, little things, quarter boxes, date cover and functionals. Some more functional stickers, a payday, bill due, birthday stickers, some more boxes, some little flags. Um, and this will actually be the first time I'm planning um, on a monthly basis in such a long time. I definitely didn't plan monthly in my last planner. Um, I didn't really see the point because I was just much more a weekly planner. 
but because me and James are moving into our first house, um, we've obviously got a lot of stuff to remember, especially bills. Um, so I just thought it'd be really useful to plan monthly in this planner, especially for the first few months of us moving in. And then we've got this, oh, that's such a gorgeous pattern. Some more little boxes, Halloween, so excited for that. Uh, the sidebar, and yeah, just a gorgeous kit for autumn. I'm really excited to use this one. So onto paper sheet plans, I did two orders. So I used both of the PR Girls codes, um, which I'll leave below. But yeah, the freebies are super generous because there's lots and lots of stickers. They're also really, really pretty. And I really like the colour palettes. So they're very usable. And then moving on to foil overlays, which I have become slightly addicted to in the past year. Um, I just think they're so pretty and they really set off um, weekly spreads. So I have purchased quite a few full box overlays and then some washi overlays. And they're pretty much the um, foil like overlays that I reach for. Um, the other ones I'm not so bothered about, like header overlays and things. It's more so the uh, washi and full boxes. So I got some in gold and silver. I definitely feel like I'll be using a lot more gold in autumn because I feel like gold and orange and yellow and like the autumnal colours, I feel like they go really well together. But I just thought I'd pick up a few silver ones as well. So we've got the confetti border overlays in gold. The line border overlays in gold as well the silver stars border silver line and bow gold line and bow and gold confetti overlays so all very very pretty and then for the washi overlays i've got two of the bows in gold and silver which are super super pretty and then I also got some of the confetti in the gold and some and some of the stars in silver and I actually have um some ideas in my mind of which kits that I would match these with so I'm super excited to put them to use and now on to the weekly kits which I have got a lot of so I'm going to start actually with a monthly one because I did get one monthly kit. So I saw this artwork being used in lots and lots of weekly kits and I absolutely love it. But I didn't really want it as a weekly kit um, just because um, I didn't think it would go with the theme of the other kits that I'm going for, which are very autumnal. Um, so when I saw that Paper Sheet Plans did this artwork in a September monthly kit, that was just like perfect for me. So I'm so excited to use this. Um, obviously you've got like the date covers and the September banner and just look at that artwork. So pretty date covers, some glitter, bill dues, checklist, flags, functional stickers, some little things, some really gorgeous boxes, some deco and then some um, washi strips. So a really gorgeous kit and yeah I cannot wait to use this in September. Oh I forgot about this. <laughs> uh, some washi bits and some more deco. And then on to the kits. So I'm going to start off with this one and I actually left them in the packaging because I just wanted to show you how they are packaged. Like I just love this little section on the um, envelope that she puts on and these are compostable as well which is really good with this interior design kit which again I saw a lot of people using this artwork but honestly I was just obsessed with it um it's just like this really pretty like boho inspired kit and obviously muted tones again another kit which would be perfect for the transition of summer to autumn um, and yeah so these are the full boxes then we've got the checklists little things Half boxes, quarter boxes, build you, um, habit trackers, weekly checklist, weekend banner, functionals, checklists and flags, bottom washi and washi strips, the deco which I'm obsessed with, if I don't use all of this I'm definitely going to save it, and then as an add-on the glitter headers which are really pretty 
and the extra full boxes. So I showed you this one first because it is in um, the matte paper, which was my usual choice. I mean, it is the older format. So the kits that I've got to show you next, um, they firstly are in a new format, which I'm really excited about because I really, really love the contents of it now. Um, and also they are all in the glossy paper, which again is a new paper format to me. But I really, really like how it looks. Um, I've been watching a lot of Planner With Me videos and a lot of people, especially in America, um, use glossy paper stickers. Um, and I hunted and hunted, but there was hardly any shops in the UK that offered glossy, apart from paper sheet plans. But of course, it is one of my favourites anyway. So that is fine by me. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to give glossy paper a go. And I am not disappointed because I actually think it might be one of my favourite papers, so Glossy from Paper Street Plans and then I think Premium Matte from Planet Face are really, really good. So this is the Pumpkin Picking Kit, which is gorgeous. The colours are so vibrant with this paper. Um, it's a little bit different to the usual autumn and Halloween kits, I would say, and the colours are just so pretty. The artwork's amazing. Um, so these are the full boxes. I will go through this kit as well. Obviously, like I said, there has been some changes made. So you've still got your full boxes and your check boxes as usual. And then this is where things start to change. So we've got lots of um, little things which are a lot more simple and some blank ones. We've then got um, half boxes, quarter boxes, build due and appointment labels. Some more half boxes, can't have enough half boxes. Um, appointment labels and the pattern washi. We've got um, plain washi and washi, uh, the bottom washi. Then we've got weekly checklists, um, some check boxes, weekend banner, um, check boxes, gallop headers, work stickers and functionals. We've then got the deco and these really pretty date covers. I really like the kind of like brush um, stroke pattern. Some more um, useful boxes, habit trackers, cancelled, rescheduled and flags. And then we've got a double box and we've got some glitter headers. I love the new format because of how many boxes they are. I'm definitely going to be changing my planning style. Um, if you didn't know, I stopped planning in, I'd say, April time um, when lockdown like kicked off and everything. I just stopped planning because there was nothing to plan. And as I go back into planning this September, I am going to be opting for a different planner style, which will be using lots and lots of boxes so next we've got the halloween kit which is so pretty and it's really really good if you're um someone that's quite girly and likes cute and girly halloween which i definitely do i much prefer it than scary halloween these four boxes are gorgeous that little kitten in the pumpkin is so cute i really really like the splash of this vibrant green color as well i think that's really pretty so again same layout so I won't really talk you through it, but these colours are just gorgeous. And obviously it is not really traditional um, Halloween, obviously, because there is a lot of pinks. But like I said, if you're more into the like cute kind of Halloween, then this would be perfect for you. I love this pattern. So nice. And this is one of the kits that I think that the silver foil would work really well with as well. So like I said, most of them, I think that the gold would match better with. Uh, but that's why I picked up some silver as well for kits like this. Oh, look at that. I just think it's so cute. I just love this kit. I mean, I love all of the kits, but especially autumn and Halloween, like... This for me is like when picking kits is my favourite thing to do. And we are on to the final paper sheet plans purchase. I do have another haul coming soon um, because I do already have a few bits and I've got some more stuff on the way. Um, but I just wanted to get these up because I really want to start planning now. So we've got a double box and glitter headers. This one is called Spooky Night. 
Um, so again, another Halloween kit. I think I've got a Halloween kit for every week of October, which is completely fine with me because I just love celebrating um, different events and occasions and especially Halloween. Um, and obviously this is a lot darker of a kit and I'm all for it. I just absolutely love it. So we've got like the Halloween films, we've got carving pumpkin sweets, we've got like a little hot chocolate, some kids holding trick or treat bags really really pretty and i just love the dark purple and the black in this kit um it's very true halloween i would say again gorgeous patterns and look there's a little halloween face mask which i think is hilarious and i think that's some hand sanitizer so I really like that it kind of incorporates the um, like current events. I think that's quite funny. So I really don't know if anybody will be trick-or-treating this year. I mean, I'm obviously too old to go trick-or-treating. Um, I mean, can you be too old? I don't know, but <laughs> I feel like I am. However, obviously this is gonna be the first year in the house, we're gonna have a Halloween party, we're gonna decorate for Halloween. And it would be so sad if um, like children didn't come to the door for sweets and stuff, so we couldn't give them out. I think that would be quite sad, but obviously understandable because of the current events. Um, but yeah, we are gonna have a Halloween party and make the most of the occasion. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, if you are still watching. I feel like this has been quite a long and rambly video and I've had to stop for breath many times and <laughs> so i hope i didn't rush through it too much uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will be uploading lots more plan with me's lots more um sticker hauls so do stay tuned and do subscribe if this is your kind of thing also link my instagram below because i do tend to post quite a lot on there as well thanks for watching